Namaste programs and welcome to the last day of our trip around France that echoed the one that I did in real life nine years ago. Uh, the last thing I visited was Avignon, having visited Montpellier the day before, after which I uh, spent a couple of days in Avignon. My sister came and meet me, met me there and then we went back to where we live in the south of France. So this is it, we're going to go via Nîmes and the Pont du Gard, uh, have a quick look at them while we're flying around and because it's just going to be a short trip, we'll do a bit more of a, a look around of Avignon when we get there rather than having to do it tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy, let's go. Montpellier Tower, Chaz Rover, Zulu Alpha 11 ready at runway 30 right east departure. Chaz Rover, Zulu Alpha 11 cleared for takeoff runway 30 right east departure approved. Departure approved. All right, well, let's get Cleared going. Takeoff runway three zero right, Chaz Rover Zulu Alpha one one. Well, all our nav logs and GPS are showing up on our second screen. They are sounds like a jumbo is about to land on top of us. Yeah, I'm gonna take up on top, take off on top of us. Ours here first. You can wait. And again, he could squash me like a bug. Wonder if we're going to be able to use the uh, controls today. Well, that's going a bit better. At least we can see the, the hover over text. Maybe we might even be able to use the autopilot. Who knows? It's always a crapshoot. Another beautiful day in Montpellier in the south of France. It seems to always be beautiful days at the moment. Middle of summer, oh, the end of summer actually. Start of fall, autumn. Beginning of September. Alright, so it's about nine minutes to Nîmes, and then two minutes to the Pont du Gard, and then about six minutes to Avignon. So, pretty quick trip today. I'm going to get up to maybe 5,000 feet today, see if that helps with the autopilot. We'll try to keep an eye on the scenery, see if there's anything interesting to groan down and have a look. Groan is what I'm now calling my drone. Groan the drone. The co-pilot is Chris. The autopilot is Jesus. Just to get everyone up to speed. We're following this river and road. Beautiful view, beautiful day. Apologies if you can hear shouting in the background. The nurse is here to visit my grandmother. Thus, loud noises ensues.
Alright, well, we're nearing 5,000 feet, which is about where I want to be. A little bit more. We'll do. Let's uh, get to like 70%. Trim down. If the plane wants to come to some reasonably stable uh, light. Facing in the direction we want to be facing. But we're well, quite a bit off to the left of the line. But I'm hoping the autopilot will be happy to deal with that. Let's find out. nav mode and alt mode did I manage to click that? I did ok, um, we've actually nailed it on 5000 is ok, it's taking me towards the line glad for that Let's see how we go Let's see if the autopilot wants to uh, work properly today or whether it wants to plow me into the earth. Alright, looks like it's doing its job correctly. How shocking. Well, that means we can look around and have a squeeze of what we can see. What's that? I'm going to go down and have a look at that. What is that? Chasrel Brazilu Alpha 1 1 contact Garen's approach on 124 decimal niner. Some kind of crazy, uh. 124 decimal niner for Chasrel Brazilu Alpha 1 1. Shaped building Garen's here. Garen's approach Chasrel Brazilu Alpha 1 1 5000 feet. Don't know what that is, apart from Chas clearly Rover being Zulu Illuminati Alpha inspired. inspired. Which town this is, I'm not really sure. Have a look around anyway. Okay. Interesting. Interesting town. Zoom over to this one over here while we're here. Let's do it. Follow the river. Hello, I've come to visit you. You are not incredibly interesting, but I give you a 4 out of 10. Well, this is a uh, toll booth. Massive toll booth. So I... Alright, let's get back to the plane. The plane, boss. The plane. Okay. We'll be coming up on Nim eventually, not too far away now, I don't think. Yeah. Um, probably up here somewhere, maybe. Well, uh, it's Nim Airport. Neem has a Roman Colosseum. I believe it's one of the oldest ones outside of Rome that is still intact. It still gets used for things. I, I used to have bullfights there. I don't think they do anymore. They're, that being illegal in France. But um, yeah, I didn't visit Neem on my trip, but I have visited it. I visited it a couple of years ago. Uh, nice place. Nice place. There was a, uh, a big park with a giant hill that you, you could climb up, so I'll see if that's rendered in. That was really uh, quite a pleasant hike. 
up to a church on the top of the hill, I think it was. It had a, a view out over Neem. This must be Neem here, actually. But once we can see what we're looking for, we'll drop down with the drone and have a look around. These are the outskirts with the industrial areas. Guessing it's looking quite old town in the just where my nose is now, so that'll be where the Colosseum is. Would mean that I think my vague recollection of the uh, layout, the hill must be over here. Let's see, let's see what we see. But uh, that's Neem Airport that my nav point is on over here, so this must be Neem. There's nothing else in the vicinity. Yep, there it is. There's the Colosseum. Well, let's go have a look at it. Down we go. chug a little bit I think but what can we do oh wow so it's sort of understood that it was a, a round thing there was definitely no house in the middle like that there was a Colosseum this was all uh, old stone seating and yeah a dirt sort of circular thing in the middle there where People used to have gladiator fights and then bull, uh, bull fights and now these days I'm not sure what they do in there. Not much, it's just touristy. They probably do, uh, where's this hill? I'm sure it was Neem that was hill, maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. There was, like it was a large gardens with a hmm actually not that far there was also an old Roman temple kind of a thing I did over here yeah here we go so I did think this might have been the temple hasn't really rendered in exactly what it is and here we go this is the yeah so this was like gardens that had fountains and all sorts of things and then this is the hill here up to uh, what was a church on top that is showing up as an apartment block nice try algorithm but alas you have failed this city but yeah it was pretty it's quite beautiful oh no wait actually look this here is the old temple. That's it there. It's uh, like an old church kind of thing with uh, with columns down the front. I don't know what you call those things exactly. They have a name, but you know, typically Roman architecture. All right, we need to get back to the plane because the plane is probably at the Pont du Gard already. So let's see if we can find it. The Pont du Gard is hang on let's see if oh no we're not quite there yet it's still up and to the left here somewhere it's an old roman bridge across a river let's see whether it's rendered in at all i think it must be because it's in the game as a point of interest so i'm hoping that it's been put in properly oh that's it there there it is right there all right there you can't escape me Pont du Gard uh, that's a great trip to go have a look at that as well there's um it's just all of these hikes and walks around it and uh, yeah it's really beautiful it used to be a road bridge my, my dad I uh, went visited it with my dad a couple of years ago when I was, we did Nîmes and the Pont du Gard when he visited France back in the 60s, uh, yeah, when he drove down south, he actually, this was the way through. You drove over this ancient Roman bridge. Now, these days it's a world heritage thing, I would say, and uh, yeah, not open for cars.
where did we came in? I think we came in on, and parked here. This is like a visitor center and shops and things. And there's another, you can actually choose which side. Both sides have parking and a visitor center because this is, there's nearest bridges are miles away. So yeah, you choose here whether you're gonna go along this side of the river or that side of the river. Let's go down and have a look. Just as the plane starts heading towards Avignon. Here we go. The Pont du Gard. That looks like it's been modeled in properly. Not algorithmed. You can walk across it. You can't walk across the top. You walk across that bottom section there, but it's a yeah, really beautiful bridge in a very beautiful uh, river. Oh, wow, this, I mean, I remember walking across here. We haven't got footage of it somewhere. Came along here. That doesn't look quite right. It was more, there weren't that many trees. And then, yeah, you can come up this little path here. And paths all over the place. You can, like a tunnel through one of the, the paths. Like, didn't go that far, but you can keep, keep walking all the way here, it seems. How's that for a hike? All through the forest and the hills. But there's, yeah, there's some shops and hotels and things on this side. The car park. But we actually came in on this one. This is a much bigger visitor center, and food shop, and food things, you know, t-shirt shop and whatnot. Huge parking area, although it was winter when we were here, so we're basically the only people here. In fact, on the way out, on the way out, there was someone like, where were they? Where's the exit to the car park? So we came along here, I think, and down this bit here, and this is where there was like a boom gate to get a ticket to, to pay for the parking. There were some people who had walked from the nearest town, so probably this over here somewhere. Turns out they were Australian. Just the only people visiting the thing that particular day in the middle of winter were Australian. So that was a strange coincidence, let me tell you. Well, let's go back to the plane. That's the Pont du Gard. And now we head into Avignon. We're going to land, then we'll do a bit of a drone look around Avignon itself. And then we'll call it a day. We'll see if the uh, famous Pont d'Avignon that everyone knows from the child song that most people learn at school if they learn any French. To la Pont d'Avignon, on y danse, you know the one. I'm trying to get a, this sort of looks like it's the airport, but I don't think it is. It's too early. We're not quite there yet. It's more likely to be what's well past the river. It's down here somewhere. But I can't see where it is. What landing runway was? 35. Oh, great. So as always, we're going to have to go all the way around. We are literally facing the direction of the runway, but the wind's coming the other way. So we'll have to do a left turn thing as always. So Avignon is probably the place to visit. Oh, sorry about that outside. That's the restaurant downstairs losing all their pots and pans. The place to visit in the Var, the Provence, which is uh, the southern area down here. It's got uh, an old Pope castle that the, the Popes were kicked out of Rome at one point, or they split off or something, and so they built a they built a castle here. It's called, where the Popes hung out for a while, and there's the famous bridge. I think this is where it is. That'd be the bridge there if, if this is Avignon, which I think it is. Over here, there's an old ruins of, of another castle. There's all sorts of great stuff in Avignon. It's really, and it's all, it's all old town. It's all, you know, built hundreds of years ago. Right, now where's this airport? I'm just not seeing it. runway 35 that means it would be going that way 
Oh, so I don't have to go all the way around. Or do I? I'm getting confused. Where is it? This looks like an airport here, but then that's not facing 35, is it? I guess it is. I've completely confused myself. That is the airport, though. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Which way is 35? That must be 35 there. How do, so I have to go all the way around like that? Why can't I just duck in here? Look, I want to duck in behind that guy. Alright, well, we'll go all the way around. I'm not going to... I'm just going to fly over the top of the airport. I th I'm trying to remember my training, but I'm sure you could just do that. I'm sure that was... Oh my god, there's so much wind. That's why we have to go in 35. Alright, okay. Well, there's too much wind to have the flaps out just yet. We need to lose some height manually like this. I've still got the autopilot on, that's what's going on. I'm trying to figure out what's pushing me around. The autopilot's trying to keep me at the altitude. Now we're at, here we go, we're fighting the autopilot again. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a Zen as Airways flight. Zen as fuck flight. Zen as fuck Airways flight without uh, the autopilot trying to kill me. Because I forgot to turn it off. Alright, there we go. We've managed to lose some height at least. Alright, now we can... As though I thought it was wind that was uh, moving me really forcefully, but no, it was the autopilot. Surely the autopilot should be smarter than that. If I'm controlling it, you should turn yourself off. Okay, we're going to have to go out of fair way now, in order to lose enough speed. Get to the this hill, sort of. Start our turn. Okay, now we can put some flaps down. See where the runway is, it's all the way over there, that's good, that's good. Do more flaps, and the landing gear, put a bit of power. Probably went a little bit too far out, but we'll, we'll sort it out. That's about right there. We haven't been given permission to land yet, but frankly, that doesn't concern a baller like me. Lol. That golf course hit me with a ball. I'll come down and I will find you. Okay. Power off now. What are these markings? Oh, this was 17. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I'm landing the wrong way. Let's just... Uh... There was a plane coming in this way, though. That's what confused me. Some other player, no doubt. Doesn't know which way they're meant to land. Okay, I will. I will. So I went to the wrong thing. So what? What are you going to do about it? Come find me. Come find me. Where are you, Tower? Come at me, bro. No, I won't. I refuse. I refuse. You have annoyed me now. You have annoyed me now. Why was that other plane landing in that direction? Got me completely confused. Hey, get your get your car away from my plane. You're going to watch out, brother. This airport. Wow. What a bunch of nerds. Okay, that was entirely my fault, but I somehow talked myself into uh, the 
runway being the way the wrong way. I went landed on the wrong one way. Got confused by someone else landing the wrong way too. Let's turn everything off. Let's get the drone and go have a look at Avignon before the air traffic control people find us. Alright, well let's go and see what we can see. Alright, so I think towards the river here or are we? I'm completely discombobulated with everything that just happened. Yeah, over here I think is where I want to be. This is the main part of Avignon. I was staying next to, I was staying basically in the train station, so actually it was up here somewhere. Yeah, this was the train station. I think maybe this building here was the hotel, I don't recall, somewhere there. That might have been, actually, it might have been this. It kind of, that shape rings a bell. And that means the castle, the, the main Avignon castles down here somewhere. Believe it or not, that's it there. Not rendered in particularly well at all. But this is a large castle. These are some ramparts you can see here from part of the castle. I think these are probably more ramparts here, with the, which, which the game loves to render as extremely thin apartment blocks. The boat on the river there. This is the famous Pont d'Avignon. It's only it doesn't cross the river anymore. It's a, it's a ruin. But it's not even showing up as a bridge. What a pity. Someone needs to really do Avignon. It's fantastic. This is a bridge, a normal road bridge, that can then take you, I believe it was over here somewhere. Is another, yeah, all of this is actually another castle. It's not, it's just, uh, it's not a big tall castle. It's just uh, ramparts and you can sort of see the, the outline of it there in the, in the satellite view. But the algorithm does not know that, sadly. And I guess no one's put it in properly on Bing Maps. So we wait for September where apparently, well we are September, but this month Flight Simulator is going to get an update that is going to be a much newer version of Bing Maps and everything. So let's see, let's hope that, that brings in some nice places like Avignon here. A check out of the the castle there. There it is, and that's it. That's our tour from uh, from Paris. We started off. We did Nantes and La Rochelle and Bordeaux and Perpignan and Toulouse and Montpellier, and perhaps not in that order. All the way to Avignon, and that was the last stop on my trip before I headed back down to the French Riviera where I live. But at that time I wasn't living there, but that's where my grandmother lives. So. Uh, yeah, on the channel, I think we might do some, uh, I've got plenty of captured footage of just nice scenes from this, so we might just do a non-commentary, chill out, nice scenes video. Uh, thanks for coming along on this trip. I hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope you get into the game and do it yourself. France is a fantastic place to go have a look at, especially from the air. So thanks again, and... Uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.